So Elisa, what are we talking about today? We are talking about abandoned cart workflows. Ah, okay. Yeah, I yeah. want to talk about these because I get abandoned cart emails all the time. So I know it's something that's completely table stakes for our customers. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So you must be doing a lot of online shopping. I do. Getting these all the time. <laughs> I do a lot of online shopping. <laughs> okay. Yes. We're gonna we're gonna dive into that a little bit later. <laughs> uh, so so yeah, you uh, and and so many other people out there uh, abandon their carts. In fact, did you know that seventy five percent of carts are abandoned? Really? Yeah. That seems really high. What are like? the most common reasons why people abandon their cart. I'm so glad you asked. Yeah, Great. I think the number one reason is probably price. Mm -hmm. um, also, you know, they be forgetting, yeah. you know, right? You get distracted yeah. and go off and do something else. Um, not understanding um, your like return policy, right? Interesting. Right? And okay. then um, not knowing what kind of customer support they're actually gonna get mm. after they purchase. I get that. Mm -hmm. Cool, yeah. so are there some things that you do for each of those different reasons why people abandon their cart? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So okay. like, let, let's just go through them. So price, mm -hmm. right? Um, if you got an email that had a 10% discount, would you be more likely to purchase? 100%. Yeah, 100%, yeah. okay, good, good, good. Definitely. So like, we don't wanna train you as a consumer to only <laughs> search for discounts, okay. but it really can be helpful in getting you over the hump, right? It is. Is very helpful. Yeah, yeah. right, right. Um, so, so what else? Oh, forgetting. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's say um, you got an email and it included the products and a description of the things that were in your cart. Yep. Would that make you a little bit more interested in purchasing? Totally. I get emails and it has the image of the products and I'm like, oh, yeah, that product is awesome. And it makes me go right back to the site. Totally. Awesome. Yeah. So yeah, it would be effective, right? Yep. Um, okay, uh, return policy. Right. So let's say uh, you know you you've got some uh, event that you um, are going to, and you're buying shoes or something like right. that. Right. And uh, it turns out you didn't wear them because it rained. Mm. And, but but like you you didn't buy them because right. you didn't know exactly what the weather was, and yeah. so yeah. You know, and I didn't know if I could send them back. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Right. So outlining the return policy in those emails can be really helpful. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, last one, uh, customer support. So like you might be really um, sort of apprehensive about making a purchase if you don't know what kind of support you're gonna get from the company, right? right? right. Um, so outlining uh, that there's, you know, live chat support or, you know, email support or the phone number to the CEO, right? That can be really Gosh. helpful information to include in those emails. Yeah, I feel like support is, is everywhere now. Like really great support mm -hmm. is on so many e-commerce sites. So just knowing that people will be there if there's issues, that's so helpful. Totally. So that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, absolutely. You know, there's some other things to consider when you're building out these abandoned cart emails or your strategy. Um, you know, personalization. So using oh, yeah. someone's first name, like that can be really important, I right? I love that. Yeah, that yeah absolutely. That always gets me. And then urgency. Right. So thinking about, um, you know, including in your subject line, like hurry, um, you know, your cart's about to abandon or don't miss out on these great deals mm. um, on the products Give that you have in your cart. Push. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Right. Because that urgency, I mean, it's it's an old marketing technique because it works. It works. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yes. OK, cool. That makes a lot of sense. So what are some other things that are important and effective in an abandoned cart strategy? Mm, so glad you asked um, the, the cadence uh -huh. of how you you, uh, connect with people during their abandonment period right. uh, is really important. So okay. like thinking about the the timing mm -hmm. and um, how you space out your your engagements is, is really important. So you might connect okay. with somebody um, immediately, maybe an hour after they abandon their cart, right. and then um, you might think about uh, contacting them again uh, the next day or even a few days later. Okay, interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And do you usually recommend just like one email, maybe the next day, or do you recommend a string of emails? What's kind of the, the best thing to do? Yeah, really good question. So um, it, it's actually been shown that abandoned carts that have, or abandoned cart strategies that have three or more emails are over 60% more likely to convert. Really? So it's really, really important to have multiple engagements, whether it's email, Facebook, or other channels. Right. Okay, that's super interesting. Yeah. It keeps the company, I guess, like top of mind. You keep getting reminded about those products that you really loved because you added them to your cart. Yeah. Oh, it all makes sense. Yeah, that's awesome. why I buy so many things online. <laughs> it's all coming together. Yeah.